So in this video, we'll balance the equation for the decomposition of nitric acid, and this is in sunlight. So if you leave nitric acid out in sunlight, that can make it break down into these products. I'm expecting this to be a little bit difficult because we have oxygen in each of these compounds here. And when you have an element spread out over multiple compounds, it can be kind of challenging. Let's give it a try though. So we have one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, one nitrogen, and then the oxygens, one plus two, that's three plus two, five total oxygen atoms. It looks like we could just start out by trying to balance the hydrogens. We could put a two in front of the HNO3, so one times two, two hydrogens, one times two, two nitrogens, and then three times two, that's six of these oxygen atoms. Why don't we put a two in front of the H2O here? So now we have two times two. That gives us four hydrogens. And that would balance the oxygens because we have two plus two plus two. So now we have six oxygen atoms. Let's go back and change the hydrogens here, which will change everything else again. But let's give it a try. So to balance the hydrogens, I need to put a four in front of the HNO3. So let's update the hydrogens, nitrogens, and oxygens. So we have one times four, four hydrogens, one times four, four nitrogens, three times four, 12 oxygens. Okay, well, why don't we put a four in front of the NO2 here? One times four, that'll give us four nitrogens. Those are balanced. And then let's count our oxygens up. We have two plus eight, that's 10 plus two, that equals 12. And actually, we just balanced this equation. So I'd quickly tried to balance this earlier and had a much longer solution to it. So it's kind of trial and error. If you come upon the right steps, it can be quick or it could take a little bit longer. Um, both ways worked. These are the coefficients. And uh, this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of HNO3 in sunlight. Thanks for watching.